links in the description below the Burr method a great book on how we did it and this is just one of those case studies we did I'm going back and looking at our older properties this one was on Ashland here in st. Louis Missouri it's a great little suburb of st. Louis let's go ahead and jump right in um, so we bought this one uh, and you can see here we've got some images this was a uh, three bedroom I believe it was just one bath on the main level uh, and it's got a one car detached garage. Let me go ahead and try to pull up a few more before pictures here for us. Let's see if we can look at that. Oh, that looks pretty good. Let's make that bigger. Okay, that's not too bad. So you can see here, uh, this was the back porch. It was pretty unfinished. Um, but yeah, so here's another picture of this back porch. So again, had new windows, just needed a lot of cosmetic repairs. Uh, and then uh, I guess the water pipe had bust and they replaced that, but they didn't fix everything up. Uh, so again, we just needed to patch up that basement floor, but the uh, bathroom upstairs was in pretty good shape. So again, there's a lot of cosmetic stuff just needed to be done. Clean it out. Uh, you can see even here the, the door had, uh, you know, didn't have a doorknob on it. Just kind of funny stuff, just all needed to be uh, fixed up. Yeah, let's go back. Detached garage. Uh, one thing I know they made us do was put gutters on. Uh, nice big backyard. But again, it was a brick house and it looks like it had additions over time. So it started out as a two bedroom or a one bedroom maybe uh, on that main level and they added some, some additional square footage up top there. Okay, so this is Ashland. Let's go back to. So these are our before photos. Um, so what was our purchase price and what was our plan? This was one of our uh, first properties. I think it was our second property we did uh, trying to implement the burn method. So we were still estimating our rehabs around 45 and our refinance around 45 days. Again, just expecting our projects to take approximately 90 days from start to finish. Uh, we came pretty close to that. Uh, estimated repairs, we figured again, we weren't graded it. We were thinking maybe 10,000 in repairs and uh, have a total budget of 86,000 value when complete. So again, a $10,000 repair budget, we thought it would be worth about 86,000 when we were finished and we'd be able to rent it for 975 a month. Um, that's pretty conservative numbers. Um, again, so here was our rehab plan. Um, just a quick rehab. All right, so here's some of the after images. You can see that back bedroom for the back patio room, we got it all cleaned out, uh, re-drywalled, all the electric repaired, uh, things of that nature. Let me pull up our after pictures again, just because I like pictures when we're doing these. So let's go stuff so in the bathroom just needed a great cleaning. Uh, I think we had to put in a fan uh, for this one because that vents into that back room there. Uh, so some little things like that. Uh, so our repairs, so our total investment was $70,000 on this property. 
but we lucked out and we got an appraisal at 104,000. And this is back in 2000, which is probably right around uh, the end of 2017, so right around 2018. Uh, we rented this one for 1,200, uh, allowing us to cash flow 500 in. Dollars per month. So again, it's bringing in a really good cash flow. Uh, we've got an equity capture of $33,000, and this is at the time. Uh, today, we've got even more equity in the property. Uh, we're actually thinking about selling off some of these birds to turn key rental investors just because they've gone up in value so much. So that is the uh, Burr project on Ashland. You can see we had an equity capture of $34,000. We got all of our money back and we're cash flowing $500 a month on this property. If you're interested in learning more, check out the free landlordcourse.com.